There is nothing like these strobes that I have ever seen in existence. This really does look like a piece of candy. It looks like the sun. This is going to be so much fun. Welcome back everybody on another video on lighting off some fireworks where today we are going to be testing which fireworks strobe is the best and we will see how all of them perform. Now today guys we have the super annoying fireworks and these fireworks I have loved for years. They are some really good strobes along with some conventional strobe pots. These are the flashing strobes by Tug and we also have the magnum flashers by Black Cat. Now as a matter of fact guys if you compare the size of those strobes to these ones these strobes right here are actually a little bit bigger putting them right next to them guys look at that guys side by side you can tell that these might have a punch to them you may be wondering why I have some sparklers well as a matter of fact sparklers do contain magnesium we've also got the black cat signal flashers and there they are right there one of them actually fell out from my other video if you guys didn't see my video on ordering fireworks online then go check it out as you'll get to see where I got these flashing fireworks right here and last but not least here we have the pro strobes that's right these are by dominator fireworks and i got these on new year's eve at pyroland i cannot wait to get started so let's go ahead and let's try the flashing strobes and then we'll do the bigger magnum flashers all right guys here goes the flashing strobe Oh wow, yeah, that is very bright. Look at the smoke poofs coming off of that. This one is already taking the lead given it is the first one I am doing and it has left behind a lot of smoke. I do have to say I'm quite happy that it thoroughly burned through and it is searing red hot. Ooh. Let's go ahead and see how that does one more time and then we will move on. Wow, very, very clean fuse. And that is very, very poofy. Wow, that is making some good smoke puffs. They are very clearly defined. Lots of smoke as always, and I do believe it is completely burned out. The flashing strobes are amazing. Let's go ahead and do two more. Oh, I wonder what these two cherries are doing sitting here. This is going to be so much fun. Very beautiful. Look at that, guys. That is very, very stroby. Two strobes at a time. Oh, I am going blind. Look at that. Wow, it is hanging on for such a long time. Those smoke poofs are just vanishing. And you can even kind of see how it's red hot. Now guys, that is the amber burning around the paper casing. And now we have the bigger strobes. These are the magnum flashers. So let's go ahead and move on to these. Got a couple distinct colors here, and I'm not sure if they make a difference. But who knows? It can be very hard to tell. All right, here goes the bigger magnum Magnum flashers. Very clear burn. Oh, it's so beautiful. Wow, those are some big proofs of smoke. Look at that. They look like jellyfishes just coming out of the dirt, or I should be saying concrete. That is so amazing. Wow. Guys, those are lasting for so long. These have already beat the other flashing strobes. I don't know what it is about these things, but I guess you know what they say, bigger is better. Now let's go ahead and do one slightly to the side and let's see what happens. Wow, that is so neat. Oh, it just came right back up. Wow, that is a very, very slow rate of strobe. And yeah, guys, as I get back here, it just does not change how exciting the performance of the strobe is. And wow, everyone, that right there is hot to the crisp. It kind of looks like there's a glowing orange wart on it. Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, guys, you know what this has come to. And yes, everyone, that is right. We are doing two of them at a time. All right, here goes two of the Magnum strobes at a time. Look at them go. Wow. <laughs> That is so clearly defined. There is nothing like these strobes that I have ever seen in existence. Just look at how clearly those smoke proofs are coming out. I might need an optometrist after this. It is so bright. And look at them burning right there. Those are some number one strobes. Now I understand guys, I only have a couple boxes of these. There are many different brands of consumer strobes, but hopefully these two right here will give you an insight compared to other strobes. Moving on here guys, we have the Black Cat strobes. Now I believe these are called flashing signals 
signals. I can't quite remember. But if you would like to purchase these, go to Pyro Direct. And yes, guys, look at them all coming out right there. We'll go ahead and do a couple of these and then we will try the big sparkler. This really does look like a piece of candy. All right, black cat strobe on top of a rock. Oh, it kind of fell over. That's too bad. We'll kind of get back here. There it goes, guys. It has started up. Wow, that is very, very clearly poofing. Ooh, kind of had a little delay there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, those strobes are so bright. You definitely do not want to stare into those directly. Now I got several different colors here and I'm not sure if they make a difference. Let's go ahead just like before, guys, and we will try this one to the side. Wow, that fuse burns really quietly. Oh, there's that infamous sizzling black powder noise. And there it goes. There is all of the green magic. Oh, that is the brightest one so far. And I'm making sure to get back. There is something about these strobes in particular that I really like because they are very small in size compared to the other ones. And yeah, guys, there are a lot of bugs crawling around the place. All right, three, two, one, here goes the golden shower sparkler. Oh yeah. Now I don't believe that this contains magnesium, but do observe how bright this is. <laughs> Look at the little sparks coming out of that, guys. Wow, my camera does something really weird when I zoom into that. If you guys wanna know where I got this, then check out my fireworks shopping online video. Oh yes, look at all those sparks. That is so amazing. Wow, there is just nothing like all of those little sparkly glitters that come out of this. And I do believe that this is for wine or maybe champagne bottles, or I should really be saying poison. But yeah, those are pretty bright compared to strobes. But I do have to say, guys, traditional strobes are better. Wow, it is really getting dark out. Now moving on guys, we have the traditional sparkler, which I do believe contains magnesium, and let's go ahead and see how that does. Three, two, one. Here we go. Well, we almost go. Oh man, this sparkler is playing peekaboo. There it is, guys. There is the red strontium nitrate right there. That is such a clean and crisp brightness. And there it is, guys. There is the magnesium. Now, in my best educated opinion, I think that that is also just as bright as a strobe, but I'm not sure. Oh, guys, it has almost reached the end, and these sparklers do really well. And now it is done. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, and now we have the super annoying. That is right. I have had these strobes for so long, and let's go ahead and see how they do. All right, super annoying on top of the wood. Very safe and clean place to light them. Oh, yes. Now, I really like the frequency on these because it is so jittery and delightful. Now, upon closer inspection, you can see that this is burning about halfway. And there you go, guys. As you can see, it is completely done burning. And look at that weird parabolic effect right there. Now, guys, I do apologize as it's getting dark. We've got three more super annoyings, and then we will move on to the pro strobes. Oh, guys, now if I'm careful, oh. Guys, the super annoying has just slid into that tube. And this should go ahead and provide some really interesting results. There it goes. Oh. Now I really like that, even though I was kind of worried. This is seeming to burn just fine. Wow, that cardboard is getting so hot, but the rate of the strobe is managing. And next up, guys, we have the Pro Strobes. Now these should be awesome, as they are very big in size, and maybe they will give you a good insight on which strobing fireworks are the best. All right, here goes the Pro Strobing Firework. Wow, guys, look at that. It is much darker outside, so we'll have much more of a bigger effect. And wow, look at how big that strobe is. That is unlike anything I've seen before. Guys, the entire lighting area is just lighting up. You can even look at these bricks over here and they are just glowing. Yes, guys, the pro strobes are worth getting. And I promise you, you will love how bright they are. Holy cow, that is unlike anything I've ever seen. I did do these towards New Year's Eve, but the problem is, is that they were a lot more or during the day. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's getting much darker outside now. So we will go ahead and wait till it gets much darker and then we will try this extra pro strobe. All right, here goes the pro strobe more towards nighttime. I do apologize, it's still a little light out, but I want you guys to see the effect of this from all corners of these woods. All right, there it goes. 
Now guys, look at how bright that is. <laughs> wow, it looks like the sun. That is so pretty. Look at that guys. <laughs> Wow, on every corner of the forest, you could just see it light up. And there you have it, guys. There are the pro strobes. I hope you guys enjoyed. And now you know what strobing fireworks are the best. And maybe it gave you a better idea on which ones you want to get this 4th of July. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Wow, we've just got one little super annoying leftover. Wow, it is so dark out.